吃吃。Obviously, how like, the doctor appointment goes. So, wish me luck. I'm having trouble sitting in my walker because of my backpack. No! My body's not even. <laughs> for me to film it, but they took blood. They've been waiting for two, damn it. They've been waiting for two hours, maybe almost three. I feel like I'm dying of boredom. My phone's dead too. <laughs> We're finally in the office. Only three hours. I will update you when he comes in and tells me shit. We're finally out. I'm waiting for my mom to bring the car because I'm not able to walk all the way where the car's at. They didn't have like a um, disabled parking spot this morning that was close. So, but um, I'll 
update you when I'm in the car because that other car beside me is really loud. We're in the car and we're gonna go home now. And I'm probably gonna take a nap. Hey, so um, I'm editing this vlog and I just realized that I didn't update y'all at all. I was so tired and drained from going to the doctor that day. <laughs> no! And I was having so many ticks that I was just so out of it. I didn't even realize that I didn't finish the vlog. So, basically from my memory, what happened is all immunoglobulins that I have are low. One is a lot lower than the other two, but I still have um, hypogammaglobinemia. And he said, it looks like you do. We're going to get in, um, what is it called? He said he's going to start talking to the um, insurance people to start getting my um, IVIG started. He thinks there might be a possibility that they might want me to try the, um, what is it called? Pneumonia vaccine, I believe it is. Um, because sometimes if you don't have hypogammaglobinemia, that'll help you. And so he says a lot of times the insurance company will ask you to do that first because it's cheaper. Um, and if, he says if we do, I just do one shot and then we check my blood again and see if that helps. If it doesn't help, then we'll start the IVIG and IVIG will go on for the rest of my life. And that's why they don't want to do it. IVIG is basically made from other people. When you go donate your plasma, they take out your immunoglobulins. Hopefully I'm saying that word right and we'll give it to unhealthy people like me that have an immune disorder and it'll help us and um so it's expensive because they have to pay people to give their um plasma because it takes so long they give um so if you're um if you ever need some cash maybe that might be a really good way to get some money and help people um it does take time but most of the time the places have Wi-Fi, so it'd be nice to just listen to music, watch some YouTube videos, and make a little extra pocket money, and also help a lot of amazing people in the world that need your immunoglobulins. So, um, yeah, it looks like we're going to be going for the IVIG, and next time we go to see him will be probably in a month, I think it was. We didn't make the date yet because the lady that made the dates thing had to leave but um yeah yes that not yesterday but like two days ago was so hard um much needed visit um that's the place that I'm gonna have to go to when I get the IVIG which will be a hospital it's um a cancer area so I'll be around a, a bunch of people that are doing chemotherapy and I will um I asked him like what are we gonna do when my arms start popping up if I'm having a lot of ticks that make my arms pop up and he says we'll have to like probably tape not tape but tie my arms down I'm not looking forward to that because the first few times we're gonna do it really slow um, to help with like symptoms and depending on how my body reacts they can might be possibly able to speed it up or they might have to actually slow it down even more or um, leave it the same when we first started so um, I really hope that my body reacts well to it so I don't have very many symptoms because there are some people that have a lot of symptoms um, afterwards and I hope that's not the case but um, fingers crossed that the insurance company isn't an asshole and will just let us do the IVIG right now because he really thinks that the um, shot I told you about I can't think of the name um, won't work for me because of my past history and with the blood work. So I'm still in medical limbo for a lot of other symptoms that I have that we're slowly finding out the answers for, but it looks like I have finally found my true diagnosis for why I have sinus infections and I'm sick all the time and like why they kind of want to take my tonsils out because I get strep all the time. Now we know why. So, um, really glad that I know why that I'm sick all the time it kind of helps and I do want to mention something first before I go okay before I go I want to talk to you about the vlog mask I got the vlog mask because I was hoping it would keep me from getting sick and um, I want to read you something that got me to buy it and um, I'll put a picture on the screen for y'all so you can read it too 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the screen because I can't read this. I've tried to read it several times and I keep messing up. So I'm just gonna stumble over this a little bit. If you don't know it, I'm dyslexic. Um, you can read the whole thing because I'll put it up. But this is from the Vogmast website. It says, Vogmast is used to protect from airborne particles such as MP0.3, MP2.5, PM10, dust allergens, post-combustion particles, germs, shavings, biologics, odor, scent, mold, mold spores, particles in wildfire smoke, volcanic particular pollution, and other airborne contaminants. The benefits of particularly, I don't know how to say that word, respiratories, I think, respiratory, I don't know, are confirmed by leading health providers worldwide. Highly effective filtering masks help protect the mask wearer from particles such as, particles as small as 0.254 microns. So, for the average person, this would be a good mask to have. My doctor explained it this way. The reason I'm getting sick is because I don't have the capacity in my immune system, I think, to keep from getting sick. And so um, he doesn't really think that this would help too much because the fact that I am hypogamic globinemic, I think you say it. He, he says it's not going to hurt me. But basically, I don't need to wear it because he doesn't think it's going to help that much. I think it'll help a little bit because it'll keep me from touching my face. And um, it does help with smells and stuff. I do notice that I'm very sensitive to smells and um, especially perfumes. If I smell it, it can make my eyes water and hurt. And... Um, if I was to go to church, I could wear this with my mom because there's a bunch of old people that wear like toilet water perfume. <laughs> and um, I would wear it with to that because it would help. Um, if I went to a hospital, I, I would kind of want to wear it um, just for like the peace of mind, I guess, mainly. It's like I don't wear it all the time, especially when I'm ticking a lot because it comes off. Um, I would need to get a larger size for ticking. Um, because my face um, likes to open up a lot and like that. Now that I'm talking about it, I'm going to do it. But basically, yeah, this is a size M and this one. I think it's pretty. <clears throat> I have one that I do wear specifically if you're dyeing my hair. And um, my hair dye, my bleach hair dye stuff stinks. And so I really like it for that. I'm sick if you can't hear it in my voice. Um, but basically this is a VOG mask. If you are got a healthy immune system, it'd probably help you. But since I don't have a healthy immune system and I am low on immunoglobulins, which is what keeps you from getting sick, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, this won't really help. But this does help with smells and um, other things that are like dust and pollen stuff like that allergies so I do wear it sometimes but I don't wear it religiously um, but yeah I do recommend if you're going to wear a mask to try to keep from getting sick I would wear disposable masks um, because you can it, this thing collects fucking germs all the time and um, you can't wash it so it's going to continue to collect germs but if you have one that's disposable you get you go to the place that has the germs you know and then you chunk it so I don't really know which one would um, filter better but yeah that's kinda why doctors use those because you can chunk them um, but yeah um, smells I say this is good but I don't I wouldn't say that this is going to keep me from getting sick. Um, but yeah, I hope that everybody has an amazing day today or night whenever you see this vlog. Um, tonight I am going to um, that place to do a sleep study for testing for narcolepsy and other stuff like that. 
Um, I'm going to link the Vogue mask website. I'm not necessarily recommending it, but if you want to, you can go look at it. So, um, I think that's it. I'm going to be doing IVAG soon, it looks like, and um, you'll be seeing some more videos soon, so stay tuned. Um, I do want to mention that I'm very thankful for my recent 200 followers that I've gotten. Um, so I'm at 1,200 now, which is amazing. I'm very stoked. Um, growing faster than I thought I would. I didn't think I would get this big either. So, I don't know. I'm just really, like, shocked that y'all want to watch my journey and follow me and, um, see how this ends, I guess. I don't really plan on ending YouTube, but I guess seeing how... I don't know what I'm saying. I guess just see what's my symptoms diagnosed as, and then I'll go from there. So, um, don't forget that I love you. Remember that you know your body better than anybody else, and thank you for being alive. Bye.